want to talk a little bit about how you might wrap certain built-in Concrete 5 pages in a Concrete 5 theme. We talked a little bit about this when we were dealing with uh, when we were talking about single pages in Vue.php and why you needed it, but uh, we didn't get too far into it. What if I wanted to take this site and I wanted to turn it into a more of a communal experience? So this was a, a site that you could actually log into, post comments, things like that, and I enabled public registration. Well, that's easy enough to do. All you have to do is come into public registration. And you can say, yes, I want people to sign up and go. So now, if I come into my site and I come to index.php slash register, and it's up to you to actually code a link to that, you could actually sign in, create an account, sign up. That's cool and all, and this is not a badly designed page, but what if I want it to be in the theme that I'm actually looking at? And moreover, when I come back, if I log in, what if I want this to look a bit more like my website? Well, what I'm going to want to do there is I want to modify my website's theme by path. So there, as you can see, there are a number of special pages in Concrete 5 that are set up to use the, the built-in white core theme um, regardless of what theme that you have for your site. And the reason we did that was because we wanted to ensure that those pages looked good out of the gate. Um, now that doesn't mean you can't customize them and make them look exactly how you'd like them to. Um, it just means that we didn't want to default to using your own theme um, and potentially give you a, a ugly experience right out of the gate. So what you can do is if you take a look at the site theme paths file in your root config directory, there are there's already some commented out code that should give you an example of what you might want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncomment that. And you can see right here, here are three pages by default that use the built-in theme that we might change to use the darkness theme. And this is just the handle of the theme. So now when I come back to login, it looks pretty good. Now it's not perfect, there's some odd spacing here. So let's take a look at what type of spacing we're dealing with. Looks like our, the different sections of our site start with, uh, there's two different forms and there's also some H3s some H1s. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this H3 some padding here. But we don't want to do it all the time. So we're going to actually, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? We're going to give this some padding when you are, um, hmm, what's the best way to do this? So what I'm struggling with right now is figuring out how to give H3 padding that it will affect it on the login page, but not affect it elsewhere. So what I can do, is in any number of ways I could solve this. Here is an example of how I could solve it. This is a sort of quick and dirty way. But what I could do is I could, when I'm on the view.php page, I could add a style sheet that is custom just to view.php. And I could do that by using add header item. What would be a good example for this? Um, core form. And we'll make sure that this actually is loading something. So when I when I add header item, this will automatically insert this style sheet only on this page into the header. 
and then I could pass it a complete link to a style sheet, or I could use the built-in HTML helper and pass it just the name of a style sheet I want to load, and it will attempt to load it first in the root empty CSS directory, and then it will look in the concrete directory. So if I come into the CSS directory and I make a file named coreform.css, if we refresh this page, you'll see now it is, should be, oh, it doesn't appear to be actually. Hmm, that definitely should be loading it from within the root. That's odd. Well, I can also add it this way as well. If that's the right syntax off the top of my head. Looks like it's picking it up. Okay, so now we have a new style sheet with this line of code here that will only be added to the header when I am viewing a page that is in a single page. So that's going to be handy. So we can kind of rely on that being a core form. So now I can totally do what I wanted. Margin bottom or margin top 20px. Try that. Isn't that what these are? container. There we go. That looks a lot better already. Give ourselves this. If I attempt to sign in here and I screw something up, no errors are being displayed, so that's a little annoying. One thing that we need to make sure that we do is that we grab some of the functionality of the core um, concrete theme here we need to make sure that we include this element above our inner content. That can be found within the concrete theme in the core directory. Basically what this is doing is it is including a section, it's including a core element that understands how to display errors on this page. So when you're logging into Concrete and you screw up your password, we pass an error object into the page and it's up to the page to figure out how to show it. And this built-in error checker should be able to show it. So that shows the error, but we might want it to look a little bit nicer than that. So what is this using? It gives something called alert message error. I'm going to change this format. There we go. That looks much better. So now we have something that will work. And if I enter this in there that's wrong, it gives me a valid email address. I've basically built my login form to look uh, nice in my site at this point. And of course, since it's the same single page and controller, it all still works exactly the same way. It's just being wrapped in a completely different theme. And now register works the same way too. 
this is not the most beautiful registration form, but it'll do. I might want some additional padding here. So looks like we've got ourselves We've got ourselves a div named clearfix here, so I'm going to give this some padding. Margin bottom, 10px. That helps a lot. And so now I can register for my site all from within this page. And it all looks pretty acceptable. Now, the next step in actually making this a magazine is tracking some more information about a user. Let's say I want to track a first name and a last name, and then I want to actually, on every page of my site, I want to actually say, welcome Andrew, uh, instead, of, uh, instead of nothing when you're logged in, just to give you a sense that you're logged in and to you know, show some customization. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to actually use user attributes, which are much like page attributes, but they work with users. So I want to track a first name and a last name about a person. So I'm going to add two text attributes. The first one is going to be first name. And I'm going to show it on the registration form. And I'm going to require it on the registration form. And then the second one is last name. And then I want to reorder these attributes so that they show up nicely. And I can do that. Now, when I sign out and I come to register, you'll see username, email address, password, first name, and last name are additional fields that we're asking for. So I might come in and create an account named Andrew. And if I were to fill out one thing but not the rest, it gives me sensible requirement messages. Looks like that email address is taken. Fill it out with something else. I can turn off these. And then the moment I register, it says your account has been created and you are now logged in. And this is all happening from within the register single page which again is something that is being piped through our theme now. So it all looks like it's our theme. And if I come back to the home page, you can't really tell because I don't have any, I'm a new user account and I don't have any added access to anything, but I am logged in um, to the site. So if we wanted to perhaps make it more obvious that I was logged into the site, I might come in to the header and open this up. Let's say we want to add something. Let's say we want to add something uh, right aligned to the top here in this nav area. So we'll do this. First, we need to check to see if I'm logged in. Of course, the same code is being served to registered users and unregistered users. So you're going to need to check to see if the user is registered. And that is simple. You just instantiate a new copy of the user object, which is the uh, sort of the object we use to check to see if whoever's looking at this page is logged in or not. If they're logged in, they will get inside this bit of code. Then what we want to do is we want to get a copy of the user info object. Not to be confused with the user object, the user info object is able to get info about a user. It's just, just that simple. Then we add in some code we'll call uh, top welcome. Welcome. And then we want to give, we want to put their first name in bold. So we take the user info object and we run the same exact code that we ran for the page. Attributes. Get attribute first name. Finally, we add our top welcome in here.
Oops. Looks like I've got myself an error. What did I do wrong? Looks like I have an extra trailing PHP thing there. You can see that Welcome Andrew is showing up, which is nice. I now know that I am in fact logged in, which is handy. And I can add some more styling to this. And let's give it a negative top position. And that looks pretty good. So now you can actually have that travel along with you along the site. And you know that you're logged in and everything's very handy. So that is a quick and dirty way to make it so that different uh, different pages look good in your theme. And that's basically, you know, it's it's pretty typical PHP and CSS stuff. You know, you're, you're tweaking things and you have to write CSS for existing HTML. And the best way to do that typically is to look at the HTML that we're generating and then add in your own custom rules to position things how you see fit. Um, but again, like when we look at our own website, a, a site like this, um, this is all custom view. It's, you know, we have not changed anything tremendously about this. We just, we just rewrote, we just use a lot of custom CSS and we may have rewritten some of the HTML, but uh, not in the fundamental way. All this stuff is still, um, still functions using the built-in registration and, and the built-in login stuff and we just spent a bit of time customizing it and adding some fields but we did not fork it or rewrite it in a fundamental way so you can make you can make your registration forms and your login forms um, really look like your own without a lot of without having to do a lot of work anyone have any questions about that and anything else really we're about to the end of uh, the advanced theme topics but uh, you know it's only been an hour and 20 minutes and I'd like to at least keep it going for another 15 minutes or so so I'd be happy to take any kinds of questions that you guys have and if you want to take a look at more of uh, custom templates or anything on the, of that nature if there's anything you'd like me to look back on or if I went too quickly through something as well mm -hmm.